In light of the very high amount of exterior LED retrofit work taking place in the market today, we have had significant demand to implement the ability to utilize a Google Earth image as a scaled background in AGI 32. This feature is complete and available in AGI 32 version 15. Let's see how it works. Go ahead and start up Google Earth. If you don't have it installed, you can easily download it from earth.google.com and install it yourself. It's quite easy. First step is to search for the destination of interest. I'm interested in 2223 Wildcat Reserve Parkway in Highlands Ranch, Colorado. Google takes us on a slightly nauseating drop from outer space right into the destination of interest. Before you go any further, there's a couple of quick steps in Google Earth that we need to take care of. Go to the Tools menu, select Options, go to the Navigation tab, and make sure the Do Not Automatically Tilt While Zooming selection is enabled. Okay, next step to the View tab and make sure the Scale legend is enabled. This ensures we can actually scale the views. From here we can further zoom with our mouse, the mouse wheel, and then we can use the controls in the upper right to square up the image as we like it. From here zoom a little more, get close to somewhere around 100 feet on the scale, 30 or 40 meters. This will give you resolution that's adequate for working on the background image in fairly decent detail. From here, it's quite easy. All we have to do is capture our images. We can stitch them all together in AGI 32, and AGI 32 can utilize up to eight images. So, Control-Alt-S, the shortcut. We'll save this image. Let's go back and create a new folder. And let's title this image lower left hand corner and now let's just go ahead and pan up you don't have to keep it square so it's okay just make sure that you get the entire project that you're interested in control alt s and this is the upper left hand corner doesn't really matter what you call the images actually and let's move over control alt s upper right hand corner and back down to lower right hand corner. Okay, that's all it takes. We've actually done all we need to do in Google Earth. So let's go ahead and open up AGI 32. Go to the Tools menu and select Background Images. Use the load button to navigate to our folder. And now we can actually just select all four images. Click open. We'll load them in. First thing we want to do is scale them all. So let's find that scale. There it is, 110 feet. I'm zooming with the mouse. And let's click the scale all button and we'll scale from this point to that point and we'll tell AGI that's 110 feet it scales all the images and now we'll click the realign button now it's just a matter of sort of stitching them all together so let's see this is easily done with the move command so I'll click move and I'm interested in aligning that corner of that building in image 2 with that corner in image 1. So we've stitched those two together. Alright, let's see. How about uh, let's move and put this point of that building right there onto that point right there. And now we just need to incorporate the fourth image. And it looks like, let's zoom down a little bit on the fourth one. 
and let's say we'll move that point hold down the mouse wheel and pan over to that point so now we've actually got a full view of the parking area since we're going to use these as a background we don't want them to be full intensity so let's fade the images down I like to fade them down about five or so and let's go ahead and click OK they'll now come into AGI 32 and this is just a background that you can work on top of so let's go ahead and do a little lighting design work I'm going to define a couple of different luminaire configurations a single and a back-to-back -back, 150 watt LED of course and I'm going to place them and template them uh, on existing pole locations which we can see from the Google Earth image and essentially do my layout I'll put some calculation points over the image and compute I'm going to speed this all up so you don't actually have to watch the whole process There we have a complete lighting design. You can always turn the background images off by going to Tools, Background Images, and simply removing the check mark. From here, we can incorporate this image into Page Builder, or we can go ahead and print directly to PDF. Adobe PDF, let's print the extents, scale to fit the page, and there we'd have a PDF piece of output. Pretty straightforward and very nice. I hope this saves you a lot of time.